there was a day that, that that dude got drunk, and he had a gun, and he had like it's like a gun in one hand, bottle in the other, and he was crying. <laughs> What's good, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We're here with Mo Martinez, Rose, and Lo. On today's episode, <laughs> Rose is going to retell his story that he was telling in the last podcast, but then we got distracted and he never finished the story. Oh, is that the one with uh, at a friend's house? Oh, the kind of one. Yeah. Okay. I'll minimize it. Um, me, my girl, and a friend. Don't minimize it. We want the full deets. Okay, I'll tell you full deets. The nitty gritty. Get down and dirty. What it do, baby? Yeah, the full teats. Deets. <laughs> oh, full deets. deets. I'll give you deets. Teats. It's going to be... It was me, my girl, and a friend. Her friend. Childhood friend. Uh, they invited us to his house. Pretty nice house. Big house. Um, we were drunk. Uh, just playing games. It was like 2 a.m. Just having fun. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> is, it too, is that me? No, it's him. I was like, is it me? Ah, yeah. oh, shit, I gotta lay off the hot Cheetos, bro. Yeah, but you need to chill out, bro. <sighs> it's how you're breathing. I know it's tough. <laughs> it's tough for me to breathe. <clears throat> okay. I won't look again. So me and my wife and a friend... We're hanging out at his house. Um, we got pretty drunk. Um, so it was like 2 a.m. We go back. Me and my wife go back to the bedroom. So uh, you and your wife were just spending the night at, at her friend's house. Yeah, we just spending the night because um, we, we were drunk, obviously. And as soon as we laid down, we hear like a big old bang, right? It sounded like a... I've been shooting before, so I went to Vegas. I, did, I shot a shotgun. So that's what it sounded like inside the room. Like I felt air for some reason, like near you me. And then the didn't like fart or anything. No, I swear to God, I mean, you ever? <laughs> it didn't felt air, bro. Yeah. Like I felt, it felt like a whoosh, but it just oh, yeah. like a loud bang. So I, we both wake up because it was like fucking scary, and we like start panicking because that house is like big windows, and it's in the middle of the woods, so it's like no service. I've never been there like late at night, obviously. It's all woods, big old windows. So why did you say over again? And it's just Because they were drunk. We were drunk. Oh, they were drunk. <laughs> yeah, so obviously oh, okay. I can't. They're doing the responsible team. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. No one's driving. Um, so he started freaking out, obviously. In his house, he has a long-ass hallway. Um, and then once we started panicking, she's like, oh, let's go check on her friend. I don't I, Love you, Kay. But I was out to, <laughs> at this point, I was just like, I, I could to care less. <laughs> yeah, I was that so boy. scared. like, Because um, I, I heard a gun say, so like, someone's in there. Someone's shot. And then they're waiting for us to come in. Damn. Or like... A million a scenarios. Body, like a million scenarios, right. right? So I'm like freaking out. And I'm telling my wife, I was like, we got we to gotta get the fuck out of here. Like, we got to go. And, and, and um, you guys were like in the second floor or something? One st- one one story house. Oh, one story house. Yeah, okay. but it's like long as like the hallway felt long as shit. And he was in the, probably the next room over, and then we had to go to like the kitchen kind of, and it's her friend, her childhood friends. So obviously, she wants to like stay. I wanted to go when it's fight <laughs> when it's a fight or flight. I'm flight. Yeah. I confirmed it that night. Like you're like yeah, I'm jumping out the window yeah, before out. I ever know. Yeah, and then we were in the kitchen, and again, it's a big glass windows. So like every like you could see everything. So I kept like scanning the room because we were trying to call nine one one, but we didn't get no service. Oh, so it wasn't just big windows in just your room. No, the whole it's like the, the house, whole house. Had like yeah. So there was like oh. like million entry points. Like if there was a killer, and again we're drunk, so we're not in a clear state. Yeah. So I could have thought Chucky was in that bitch, Mike Myers, <laughs> or something was gonna come to the to the window, right? Yeah, like that. Or like a purge type thing. Oh fuck! I was like, you probably saw three people, and I was, and then it was in a nicer area, so I was just like, oh, they're trying to set us up, and they're trying to kill us. Um. So we were calling out one. Obviously, we don't got no service. We call our siblings. No one answers. 
I don't know that. Uh, I don't. <laughs> come to find out, oh he saw the gosh. fucking call and he ignored it. Oh you know who God. you are, <laughs> young Daniel. We spoke about this now. Young Daniel's back in SoCal. Oh. Yeah, and mm-hmm. um, we're calling. We're freaking out. I don't know the address. And uh, shout out to that person. Yeah, <laughs> my legs were shaking. Like I couldn't control my my legs were like this. You're so soft, bro. I'm the <laughs> softest, bro. My legs were like I look like James Brown. That bitch just. <laughs> just you yeah, could tell my really? wife she's like my leg. I legit had no control over my legs. Like Bambi. Yeah, like Bambi. <laughs> just crazy. started how to wa- just learn how to walk. Didn't and she tried to stay calm, but I'm like freaking out. <laughs> and I was like, bro, my car is parked, like ready to go out the driveway. It's a long driveway. Yeah. Like no bullshit, by three hundred feet. Okay. You don't run, bro. <laughs> I'm not running, bitch. I have my car. At that point, I was no to like running case. to your car. Damn. Uh, no, it was like twenty feet. My car from the front door. But I was telling her, I was like, we're we ready to go. Like, barefoot, I don't care. Um, and then finally, 911 answers the call. We're trying to get the call. We're trying to find it in the, in the record to see if we can get it. Because uh, we're freaking out. And then she's the worst helper of all time. Like, we legit thought there was a killer in the house or something. She's just like, just taking her sweet time. She's like, where do you live? This now. We don't know the address. Um, it's in Woodside. I guess. Mm. It's in Woodside. And then you guys know Woodside. Like, Woodside is, like, deep. Yeah, there's different I mean, there's like crevices in that. Yeah, like, d- biznatch. like, it's a house and it's another house. And the, long, the driveway I'm telling you is, like, 300 feet. So we were going and then um, I told her, I was like, we got to go. Like, I'm ready to go. Mm-hmm. And that one was not helping. And then finally she's able to figure out the address. And um, the cops... The cops get here, right? And we're at the door. And this was probably like 20 minutes. We were freaking out for like 20 minutes. My legs were shaking. There was like multiple entryways. So I was waiting for someone to come in and like Damn, dude, shoot us. Surprise, motherfucker. Kill us. And then like I was just terrified. Like, Hello, crazy. motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then this whole time we're shouting, we're screaming. Her friend never comes out the room. What were you shouting? Like, we're shouting uh, her name. Her name, Kay. Uh, we were just like, Kay, come out. Hell? Listen out. If you're here, no response from her friend Kay. Oh. So we're like freaking out. We're like, we're way too loud for her not to hear this. Yeah, not gone. to hear us. Damn. And then we're freaking out like crazy. We said we heard a gunshot. This and that. And then, so the cops finally come. And we like run out the driveway a little bit. And we're like barefoot. We have our hands up because they're shining the light. Hands up, don't <laughs> so we're, we're like this, like scared out of our minds. Oh, the cops got there. The cops got there, like three of them. And um, they came and then they're like, what happened? We're like, we heard a gunshot or, or just a bang. Damn. And uh, they go in the house and her friend comes out. And was just blacked out the whole time. Didn't hear anything. I'm hot, bro. <laughs> I'm hot, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Yo, my level of anger. Yeah. Crazy. Like oh. she, she didn't hear one thing. That that happened the whole time, and then luckily, like the cop, they came in, and I tried to like not let them go to the left side of the house, because there's so much alcohol. They're gonna think we're crazy. <laughs> so, um. We left all the alcohol, with, like everything right there. You're like, go that way. Yeah, and then the cops, they did a, a whole sweep of the house that lasted two seconds. They're like, oh, everything's good. And I was like, you guys did not search shit. Like, Damn. And then basically we, my wife didn't sleep. She stayed up the, the other three hours and we just stayed in the living room. Oh. I passed the fuck out. I was, so, I was hey, as soon as the cops leave, the, the serial killer comes out. Surprise, motherfucker. So, that, so that's, what, <laughs> that's what she was thinking. She's like, the cops are gone. They didn't see nothing. Damn. She stayed up till daylight. And as soon as it hits like 6 a.m. She wanted them to find somebody, bro. I mean, uh, I would have I would have not been comfortable even staying. I would have probably done the same thing. Stay awake. Why do you yeah. stay? Huh? Because they're drunk as shit. <laughs> like, yeah, because I was still a little... Drunk, like when I was freaking out, I was like, the way my legs were shaking, I'm crashing that fucking car. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Uber, <laughs> Lyft. There's no no service. Oh, true. In that place, true. there's no, and then there's no Lyfts at two, three. Yeah. So there's no service. You're like, well, 
Especially not oh, in the fucking well. woods. We were lucky to get the 911 call. Oh, well, we're here. We had one bar. I tried um, calling everybody through Snapchat and Instagram through, Damn. Uh, through the Wi-Fi. No one was picking up. I didn't know yeah. you guys either at that time. So <laughs> Help. Oh, it's bro. okay. I wouldn't have pulled up, bro. Yeah, to be <laughs> honest, be he's real. the last person to answer the phone calls. I'm not pulling up, bro. I'm sorry. Answer me. Now, maybe. maybe. Back then? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's questionable. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that was probably the freakiest encounter we had. Wait, what so, side is scary? So, oh, yeah. so at the end of it, what was it? We don't know. You still don't know till this day. My wife has a theory that it was her friend that just slapped the shit out the wall or slammed the door. <laughs> probably slammed the door, but fuck. But no, that when must I tell have you, like, I felt like the gunshot was in the room. Or she or blacked right out and passed out. Boom. Oh yeah. shit, imagine that's why she wasn't <laughs> blacked out from alcohol. She's blacked out because she hit the floor hella hard. Damn. But the room is probably like 20, eh, probably 15 feet from our room. Yeah. But the, the loudness and that I felt it in the bedroom, it was even my in girl. There. Yeah, it comes it out with like, a fat ass lump. What happened, guys? Yeah. Oh, fuck <laughs> that. Bro. And then the, there's a big, big old windows. I thought someone just smacked the fuck out the window. So, so everything was going wrong. We were just scared out of my mind, too. But yeah, I never want. We're never going there again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So till this day, you haven't gone back. Till this day, yeah. Like, hell back. no. Why? <laughs> Sounds terrible. like the time I was in Mexico and I thought I saw a UFO. We had gone up to dinner and we stayed at my uncle's house. Um, and right outside of his, of, of, of the bedroom was like a little patio mm -hmm. on the second floor. And so I like to stay out there and just kind of look at the scene around, right? And I'm looking far off into the distance. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is that? What are those lights? Anyway, so I was looking off into the distance um, on the... And it was dark, like pitch black. And in his town, in his little area, the lights go out, the lights are out. Mm -hmm. like, they're conserving energy to the Oof. max. And so you have... Pitch black. Yeah, it's just pitch black. Ugh. If you don't have lights in your house or a generator or whatever, like you're not seeing shit. Yeah. Like and not so, even like your hand in front of your face? I mean, you can see little things here and there, but mm -hmm. I was just so focused off of what was in the distance and mm -hmm. seeing the little line of lights that were inconsistent and they were just kind of like twinkling. And I said, what the fuck is that? And then the, to the whole time, I kid you not, I just like, you know, when you feel the hairs on your arm rise, I just felt that like Goosebumps. every single time I would step out onto the patio, that's all I felt. It was just very intense energy and so i was associating it to dude that's a fucking ufo and my mom was like no it's not mom i can't sleep i can't sleep the whole night i didn't sleep i was tripping balls off of that and to come to find out it was a fucking restaurant we went to go eat at <laughs> the one you went to go eat at too really? <laughs> and i was like oh my god monique look up there what do you see and i said oh isn't that carmelitas where we went to go eat <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Damn. And I was like, I don't know if I was hallucinating from the heat and the fucking mosquito bites that I was getting all that night. Oh, um, that. And it just being fucking hot and sticky. I was just, mm. yeah, I was tripping. The mosquitoes Sorry. out here in the, <laughs> the mosquitoes in the bay are fucking humongous. Bro. Yeah. You got to be able to see them. <laughs> yeah. They're like just fucking big. Every <laughs> For mosquito no reason, that I've huh? seen so far here is like that big. <laughs> Like they're just landing on me. I'm not scared of them, but I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Bitch. Yeah, I'm hitting the bitch. Yeah, I just... <laughs> Pay for your meal. <laughs> Hamburger helper. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Hamburger helper. Uh, that's me, how you know you grew up in the 80s. <laughs> your is crazy. I don't know if I was... Pay for your dinner. Or aliens. <laughs> Aliens, um, I believe. <laughs> the um the part of when you said um with your story when mm. you when you heard the gunshot in in the room and you can like feel it. Yeah. Uh, I have a friend who, um. She broke up with her her boyfriend, yeah. and but she has a kid with him, and um. She said that there that there was a day that 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 dude got drunk, mm -hmm. and he had a gun. And he had like Ooh. it's like a gun in one hand, bottle in the other. Yes, sir. And he was crying, Pussy. telling her. 
telling her, <laughs> take me back. Me. I miss you. It's just, you know, the, the drunk talk, you yeah. know, when, when you break up with. He shot the gun and she said that she thought that he shot himself. Well, yeah, that's good. But, but he just, he just like shot like the, the uh, ceiling, I think. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So, and, and it was, it was nighttime. Yeah. So, so I'm just imagining, you know, the light off. Oh, yeah. Sitting in the flash. bed, him Fuck. crying, you know, like him just showing up. Ugh. And then just all of a sudden just. No, that's thank you. Too, so. it's like, oh. but, that's traumatizing. Yeah. For sure. I'm going to therapy for that. But like she, she got away from him and, you know. Sounds toxic. Everything is. <laughs> to say very, the least. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? This is the motherfucking posted <laughs> podcast. Hi. Beyond. Thank you everyone for watching another episode of the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We're here with Mo Martinez, Rose, and Lo. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out and stay posted. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That's more people.